Would you look at that? <clears throat> Something actually made in America. <clears throat> Amazing, ain't it? Granted, it's probably older than me, you, and half the people watching this. So, if you watch the video below this video that I'm posting, you got to witness the uh, Studebaker running. That was the first start, and surprisingly enough, those carburetors out of the box worked really freaking good. They do need to be adjusted. I mean, I got nothing. I didn't play with the idle screws. I didn't, you know, adjust the balance between the two carburetors. I just slammed it on there and, uh, you know, kind of leveled out the two, uh, two carbs just by, you know, feel. But I didn't, you know, we didn't do the balance test or nothing. I still got to plug off the holes here for the choke on this one before I can do anything. But just gravity fed it because of course there's no one in town that has electric fuel pump go figure so that'll show up sometime this week but I couldn't wait I had to fire it up so <clears throat> so I got I just made up my quick jerry can and she fired right up set the idle screw a little bit higher so she'd idle and holy cow it's running uh, <clears throat> had to make a advanced mechanism here when we got this car it didn't have any of the parts for that so I had to make that so now that works like it's supposed to so that was cool uh, what else do I got that's about it <laughs> I'm just kind of excited that it runs oh yeah someone on Instagram wanted to know what I used for the end caps when I welded up the intake manifold well I didn't want to just make a plate of steel. That's just boring. I kind of wanted a cone, you know, make a sharp little cone off of here, but that'd be hard. So I was digging through my bucket of stuff, and these are actually uh, body washers off of a uh, probably an 80, 80 something Chevy pickup. I just had a clean, I had two clean ones, obviously weld up the center hole. I just, I just had to grind a little bit off the surface or the diameter and it slid right into the three inch pipe <clears throat> I give it a nice little touch something different just made up some quick copper lines here and there's a Alice Chalmers uh, fuel bowl had to rework that I did get the wiring pretty much done for the car in terms of making it run we're just painting the wood on this so that's why we got all the paper on here Oh, finally the heater went off. So what I did is I got ignition, and once I get my electric fuel pump, so that's done. It does charge, which I'm shocked. It's got a good old pressure. I already knew that. Battery's already in there. So and I'm, I got everything working off the original fuel accelerator pedal, which is just a button basically. So that works out cool. So yeah, that's where we're at on the, the Studebaker. The guy that owns the car wants to leave the hood on. And at first it was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. But now seeing the half the hood on, I like that. That's cool. We're going to put leather straps on. You know, give it that old school racy look. And then uh, this side, all I really had to do on this side was I had to take off that water cover. That's on the side of the block. It was actually rusted through in the bottom. So I re-weld the whole bottom of that cover up, make a new gasket and a new hose between the water pump and a cover, and that ain't leaking no more. Got my wiring hooked up, new cables, new wires, new plug wires, so it actually runs really good. And if you watched the video, you've seen that already. So if you didn't see the video, well then go back and watch it. Got a cool little uh, ashtray, swings out of sight. Thought that was neat. So that's it. Now until our parts come here, which probably won't be until probably end of the week, knowing that this is Christmas week. UPS and FedEx and all those guys will be busy enough as it is. So I'm sure we're not going to see our parts until Friday or Saturday. We'll finish it up next weekend and uh, it's ready. So. I gotta make some front shocks yet. I might do that this week. So what's that? Later guys.